what's up you guys so let's get to the point man who is Larry Lessig he is well he is a Harvard law professor you heard me right he's a Harvard law professor anybody else come to mind Harvard law professor okay so this guy is is kind of the real deal man he's he has the credentials and I saw this interview from Cenk Uger from the Young Turks. Had a wonderful interview with this Larry Lessig guy. Lawrence Larry Lessig. So what do I think? This guy, I go through the Wikipedia page. It says he's a prominent, uh, he's a prominent l professor. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's a proponent for reduced legal restrictions on copyright, trademark, radio frequency, and the list goes on. So... He was a champion for um, the founder, even for Center for Internet and Society, which was basically arguing arguing for complete internet freedom, which is uh, something I believe dearly to my heart. And the other thing I believe is that is it is like a mantra for me is taking money out of politics. Any any country it may be, it money should not play a role. You may be an American, you may be an Indian, you may be English, you might be French. The government, elected government official should not run for the donors or the rich. It, they should run based on ideas, so it is a free, for free flow of ideas so that there is no conflict of interest and there's no special favors or influence over these elected officials. So he, uh, Lessig, basically wants to be a mandate president meaning he wants to run on a single mandate again meaning he <laughs> i know it's confusing he wants to run on a single mandate and he wants to win and once he's won the election and is the president of the united states he wants to make sure that mandate is completed that is getting money out of politics is done until it is done nothing else goes through there's no business as usual son get the money out of politics then you don't like this guy? The Republicans don't like this guy? Or the Democrats even don't like this guy? Okay. You get the money out of politics. You get to the table. You get the money out of politics law. And this guy will quit. He says he is only in it for getting this one policy. And his vice president will take over. Okay, it sounds great. But I don't know if it will happen. I'm not being cynical. Even if it does, it's a great thing. If it does, it's a great thing, obviously. But the point is, it's so obviously out there in the world that it's obviously not going to happen. So, why am I saying this? One, because there's another guy in the race, or a <laughs> front runner in the race even, Bernie Sanders. He is championing this cause from, the, I don't know, 1965? <laughs> So that guy, he's not lying. He's not lying for 30, 40 years of his life so that he can get to the White House and be a bitch for the wealthy, rich, stinking billionaires. That's not going to happen because that's Bernie Sanders. He's an honest guy. So this guy has an excellent platform and he has the record to prove it. He's a progressive, he's a progressive guy. He's a progressive, progressive dude, liberal dude who is Larry Lessig. So, much respect for him, but the dynamic is Bernie is rising and people love it. it. It's really a revolution that is going on, even though the media tries to brush it aside with Donald Trump and the other blah, blah, blah. It, it's this guy, it's something happening in this country and Bernie Sanders is at the forefront of this change that he promises he has these same issues that Larry Lessig wants desperately to solve in American politics. So why do you want to split up the votes? People will get influence, at least some who would definitely, most the people who might vote for Larry Lessig would most definitely vote for Bernie Sanders. So why the split? When you know clearly that this is, he accepted in his interview with Cenk Uger that it is practically impossible to to win. It's, it's a monumental task. And 
Yes, yes, it is. And why would he want to screw it up for Bernie Sanders, who seems really focused? Would he be able to do it when he has five, six platforms in his plate? He says he couldn't do it because the powerful are too powerful. So he wants the people to be behind him when he punches Congress or the Republicans or even the Democrats in the face. That is Bernie Sanders' way. He's tough. He's a tough cookie. So he doesn't need a nail in his freaking foot, man. This is like a nail in his foot. He has a Kickstarter campaign or one of those crowdfunding sites, Larry Lessig. So if he gets a million dollars, he's going to run. I don't know how much he's going to get. I seriously love the guy for what he's doing for internet security, internet freedom, and progressive ideas, and getting money out of politics, which is like in my blood and vein. Uh, you know who else it is in their blood and vein? Bernie Sanders. And uh, I'm really pissed because I don't want somebody to go think to go to the left of Bernie Sanders when they actually are just a fraction or exactly the same in policy as Bernie Sanders. He just splits the vote and gets an establishment candidate to the nomination. So will Lassig raise the million dollars? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. If he does, if he runs, would it hurt Bernie Sanders in any way? Maybe. Again, maybe. He would get some votes, which would have gone for Bernie Sanders. It is a tough race, and Bernie would want to win fairly. How many, ever, how many ever people are in the race? He'd want to win it fairly, knowing Bernie, looking at him, seeing his videos, and you just get a sense of you know the guy. Not the pop star or fangirly, I know the guy. It is really... He speaks what he means. It's been the way you look at the tapes, man. Look at the tapes. Lessig is a great guy. I wish he was at the corner of Bernie Sanders. He's he's never ruled out uh, supporting Bernie Sanders. So uh, he's a very smart guy, Larry Lessig. So let's see what happens. But this could be quite an issue for Bernie Sanders if he runs. Because any and some votes would also matter. Uh, in defeating an establishment candidate like Hillary Clinton or Joe Biden if he runs. So that is my view on how I feel that this this whole issue should be tackled is respectfully, in a respectful manner. Because this guy, you cannot attack this guy. He is, he's a good guy, Larry Lessig. So we as people could, you know, uh, tweet him or message him that Bernie would do the same thing and we trust him. Not that we don't trust Lassick, but this sounds like a better proposition for the people electing Bernie Sanders. So, and we would respectfully, we would love to ask Lassick if he could support Bernie Sanders as well. So that is the way that I feel we could handle this because I was really surprised when Lassick was you know, thinking of running because this guy has a record too he, for progressive issues. So this is my two cents on what I think about Lessig running and how it might affect Bernie Sanders' vote. If you think the same, you know, leave a comment down below explaining what do you think and what is going to happen. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you and have a great day and take care.